Hello everyone. Uh, so I've been asked to make a quick little short here showing how to set up the, the server rates and I might make another video show how to do the mods. So the easiest way I find is to go to single player and this is basically going to show all the different settings. So you can go through all these. There's mod settings, game rules, advanced, so all your multipliers, your baby rates and all that is all in here. Uh, so just go through all those, set how you like it, and then hit save. Once that's saved, just start the game. So I set my rates to 10 times harvesting. So you can see that worked. We'll hit save. And we'll exit menu. Alright, uh, so once that's all saved, we're just going to close down the game. We're going to right click on our game that was holding the single player file. Hit manage. Browse local files. So from here, you can basically just click on Shooter Game, Saved, Config, Windows. This is the path if you want to just drop it in there. Mine's in a different drive, but basically it's going to look wherever you've saved it and then all these, this path. Uh, you just open up Game User Settings, and it's pretty similar to the same one that we have for a server. Um, now if you scroll down... Uh, where is it? So it's server settings. So this is basically where all your multipliers are. If you scroll down, you can see even with like mods, if you want mods, basically you have to add this little thing here called active mods. And then you can name the name of the mod. So like if there's more than one, you just put a comma and you add the mod ID and you just keep adding them. And that will add your mods. And if you have like an active mod mo map, you put the, the ID there as well. Um... Yeah, let me just basically scroll down. You can see right here, XP multiplier, taming speed, harvest multiplier. So basically, once you have all your settings, you're going to basically just going to add what we had before, which was query port 27015, port 7777, same as before. And anything else you want, we can put like a server password or an admin password, you just add it. The same thing as the last video. We can change our session name here, so we'll just call this Arc Test Server, or whatever you want to call it. Set your max players, and then we're just going to save. Alright, next we're going to basically go on the computer that's hosting the server. We're going to right click on Arc Survival Send a Dedicated Server. Click on Manage, Browse Local Files. From here, we're going to hit Shooter Game, Saved, Config, Windows Server. And basically, we're just going to copy the game user settings from our other computer to here, so you can put it on a USB flash drive, you can email it to yourself, you can share it if you're on the same network, whichever. Alright, so once you have that file, you're basically just going to go find your server settings or you can drag the entire file whichever whichever you feel more comfortable I'm just going to copy the server settings copy the whole thing go into the other file and we're just going to paste it in the same spot paste over it that's going to put all the multipliers going to save and then close that once you're all done that, then you're ready to just start the server. So we'll start the server up. All right, once the server is up, there's just a couple things you should take note of. So it says here, Arc version 26.11. Make sure that this is matching up with your game that you're playing on. They have to be the same version, otherwise it won't show up in the server uh, list. So if it doesn't show the correct version, if you watch my second tutorial there, um, how to set it up through the Steam client. Uh, basically what you're going to want to do is make sure that you're in online mode on the computer holding the server. If there is an update, if you right click here, it will say update, or it might just update on its own. If it, if it doesn't, then you're all good to go. Once that's updated, we'll go back to offline mode and launch the server. And like I said, just make sure that that's matching up. I'm going to make another video on how to do the mods because it's a bit more in depth.
Alright, so let's just test it out here. So you can see we picked up 10 rocks, so our settings did switch over. So as long as you just drag it over from the... Uh, from the single player settings to the server settings, you should have no issues. Thanks again everybody for watching. If you haven't already, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I will be releasing another quick video showing how to do mods. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks everyone.